It's a sad day, but a good day. But it's time to say goodbye to my old King Sport 12 blue kayak and the Pelican Cats that I had for just a little while. But me and this old ca a kayak right here, lots of memories. Man, I actually, I don't know if I want to sell it now. Now that I'm thinking about it. No, nah, I'm selling it. Uh, it's moving along and I'm going to make a lot of money from my sister. Actually, pretty good deal. So um, I'm shipping out these two kayaks right here, loading them right, right now. About to take them over and unload them so I can make room for something else. Well, the dog's barking, but a moment of silence. All the fish caught on these kayaks, all the times. Let's just stop for a second. All right, you got that money? Uh, okay, uh, thank you very much. All right, let's go. Oh, it is a beautiful day, and I'm excited because I now have another new kayak. That's right, out with the old, on with the new, and I'm going to explain why I bought this kayak. You might have seen it in a previous video. I got, I've already used it, I think, once, but I didn't catch any fish on it. So today, we're catching fish on it, and I'm going to do um, use it really for the really the main reason I bought this kayak. So let's look it over real quick. It is a native Slayer Propel Got the propel drive, pops in right here. 10 foot kayak, and look look how far it sticks out. It barely sticks out past the tailgate. Um, it is really lightweight. Now, when I bought it, it didn't come with a seat. I got this kayak for $1,200 because it didn't come with the seat. Um, unknowing, the seat was gonna be really hard to find, so I couldn't even find the right seat for it. So I found a seat on Amazon, I think. It was $150 for that seat. And it, I just measured it and it fit the dimensions to fit in there. Then I made up a bracket for like $20 to hold onto it. I may, they even, even the brackets to hold the seat in, they're like $100 because they're like a step up bracket. So man, it's, kayak parts are kind of, some of these kayak parts are hard to find, but this will work for now. I, I might upgrade to it later, but I still got a great deal in this kayak. And it's 10 foot, my other kayak is a 12 foot. This kayak is more than 20 pounds lighter. And I bought this kayak because I want to have two pedal drives. And I also want a river, a more, a smaller kayak for rivers and creeks and getting into harder to get places. Like the place we're getting today, going in today, I got to lower it down this hill. And it's a pain, I've done my other one in there, but it's a pain. This one right here, I want to have a kayak that's ready. Boom, I can slide it in there, get it in a lot more places. And it makes me want to go more places. The more convenient it is, the easier it is, the more spots I'll go and try out. This thing is actually so much easier to pull down here. I, I'll get a rope. I meant to buy one. I got one I may have to use, but I, I like to have a different rope for the front where I can wade in it and pull it behind me. And also I can pull it back up the hill when I go back up it. So um, let me grab some of the other stuff I need, just a, a few lures, a couple of fishing poles, the pedal drive part, and we're gonna get in here, explore this creek a little bit, hopefully find some fish. Muddy, but there's not an easy way to get in here. It's too, it's too muddy. Holy cow! How am I ever gonna get out? Guess I'm just gonna have to do it. Just gotta do what you gotta do. Just get into the seat. Oh man. Well, that was a bit of a struggle. You know, covered in mud. 
But you know, ooh, the camera's kind of a weird spot. I haven't had a chance to get it set yet. So hopefully we get a view. Got a little muddy getting in. Got the kayak muddy. Probably my seat really muddy, but I bought these, I got these kayaks to use. And this one right here is one I'll probably to take, I plan on taking anywhere and everywhere, no matter how hard it is. Fish on, fish on. What did we get? Hey, that's what I'm looking for. White bass. That's what I came in here for. And uh, this is on my light action. He hit right at the boat. A little Bobby Garland there. I was throwing a little swim bait and then I was throwing this little Bobby Garland just trying to see if I can catch anything. Hopefully I can get into a bunch of them down here. That would be really fun. Man, first fish on the new kayak. Feels good. Feels pretty good. Get some more. Oh, yeah. Oh, good one. Oh man, it's pulling. <laughs> Not bad, it's still pretty fun catching these fish on this light action. These things pull really hard. Another white bass. Ow, hooked myself. Let's see if I can stand up and release. I wanna see how comfortable it is standing up and catch. I'm gonna try to stand up and catch a fish after this. So there's number two. Oh, well, the wind's blowing. So this thing's real light, it blows around the wind pretty good. All right, let's stand up and catch a fish. Get this rod out of the way. I need mud on my rear. Feels pretty good. Oh yeah. Solid one. Let's stand up and fight it. Let's see what it feels like. Come on. Oh, it had a lamp ring on it. It spit it off. That's a good one. I definitely got to work on my camera and set up. I got several things I'm going to go over. I'll go over at the end of the video some of the things I'm going to change and uh, how I like it compared to my other kayak. So I'll go over that at the end. I want to do a couple more tests. I'm going to go up the river a little bit and I'm going to go back up that creek, but that's fun fish right there. There we go. I knew there's more in here. And maybe more further up the creek as we go. Yeah. <laughs> Good ones. I don't have a camera mounted in the front. That's another thing for sure I'm gonna work on. Boom, right there. Three inch yum swim bait. I went with a little bit heavier jig head just to get it down and I can reel it steadily. And um, this water is only about five, six feet deep in here. But we are going to go up that creek some more. I think we'll find some more fish. There we go. Goodness. <laughs> I'm just going back and forth between the little swim bait and the Bobby Garland. And um, which just fish are kind of spread out. Oh, let me try the front camera out. Well, I rigged up my front camera for now. Definitely got to get it set up better and a little higher. There's the average white bass. Little Bobby Garland got it. I haven't really gotten into them really thick. I 
usually they hang out in like schools, but so far it's just been one here, one there. Random, but as I cover water, I come across them. Either that or they're just moving around a lot. That's fish. <laughs> oh, wow. That thing took off. Whoa. That could have been a big white bass, but that thing took, oh, I didn't get it. I just got a scale. I hooked a scale of it. So I hooked something, probably a carp or something like that. Here we go. There's one. Oh! It's a drum. I hooked it in the fin. I did the same thing. I think it was last spring. I came up here fishing for some different fish. And I remember catching some drum. I think there's a lot of fish are starting to go up in these shallow spots. So I just snagged him. And maybe, maybe a I should have brought some worms with me. I could have, could be all kinds of fish up in here, but we got a little further we can go. Let's see what else we can catch. Oh my! Dude, did you see that? That was something big snapped me off that was a big fish <laughs> holy cow i was not expecting something like that hitting in here dude i wonder what it was i'm using a uh, medium setup it broke off probably with its teeth it had to have something with teeth i didn't have the drag real tight I wonder if it was a gar or something really strong I was throwing a little road runner with a, with a swim bait on it. He hit, I set, it goes zzz, snap. I've had these little roadrunner hooks for a while, and I've seen lots of people use them, never tried them until now. I go. I actually cut down one of my swim baits to fit it better. And uh, that's what I had a hit on, whatever that huge fish was back there. And then I got me a little white bass right here. Oh yeah, look at it. <laughs> oh, I think it's just dog it. Nice. This thing just will smoke your lure. Even little guy, I don't know. I wonder if it was just a white bass that broke me off. Okay, well, I had a got a belly full of Subway, and I'm gonna recap, uh, or at least, at least go over this kayak. And um, if you don't want to watch this part, I'm just gonna talk about this kayak, which is the Slayer. Uh, it's a native Slayer Propel 10, 10 foot. I can't remember what the dimensions are exactly, but this is the lightest uh, pedal drive on the market. And I was went when I was looking for another kayak because I wanted a second kayak, and this was the things I wanted. I wanted a lighter than my 12 foot. I got the Old Town PDL uh, 120, which is a 12 foot. So I wanted a lighter one, a shorter one, pedal drive. I think I think that was it. That was the three main things because I wanted to be able to get it in places easier. I want to be able to move it around, and I also still want a pedal drive. I want to pedal if I want to take it out of a lake and, or a river and pedal it. Um, also something you know that I can, but also mainly getting in into tighter situations or going down rivers or something for traveling. So when it's in the truck, it only sticks out about a foot. With the, with the tailgate down, which is great. I can pick it up and put it in a lot easier. Let me show you another thing I like about it. 
the rudder part doesn't come out stays here all the time so i don't have to worry about it i can back the back part of it into the truck and uh, slide it in there and so i like that setup on it now the seat that i have on it this one i bought um is 150 dollars and i had to rig it up to get it to uh sit on the right i'm probably gonna go ahead and order the uh risers that are made for this i think they have them everything else is sold out like all the other kind of parts are sold out but i think it'd definitely be worth having the risers like a hundred dollars but at least have the risers as long as it fits in there right a couple things i don't like um i don't like the way the rod holders are way back here it's kind of right behind the seat i'd rather them be out here which I may add one there for like my net. I like to have it over there. I'm not a big fan of the way this setup is cause you have to take this off, drop your part in there, the uh, propeller, and then you put this back over it. Um, you can leave it off and run the propeller. Um, so it doesn't pop out and in quite as easy as the old town. I'm gonna have to add a, uh, a, a part on the side for my paddle. There's not really a place to put the paddle. I need to put it out of the way. Um, probably gonna add some a rail over here for rods. Part of the problem that I have is cause I'm, I got big feet and I'm big. So I'm taking up the whole room in here. So when I'm pedaling, I don't have much room right here to lay rods. Cause I, I wanna be able to take this down rivers and creeks where I'm going through tight situations where you're not gonna be able to have rods sticking up. It's gonna be in trees. So, I want to have be able to have two or three rods without them being in the way. And right now, whenever I did, my feet are kind of hitting them here. Of course, the downsides are it's not near as stable as my other kayak. It's more than 20 pounds lighter and you're going to give out stability, which I'm fine. I am really comfortable still standing up with it and fishing. Also being lighter, it gets blown around by the wind. It cuts sharper. That can be good and bad. So there's that. So overall, I, for, for what I got, I'm going to have about $1,500 in it. By the time I ordered a couple extra pieces, maybe 1600 just to get everything set right. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I was definitely comparing it to my old town. That's, that's the only other kayak that I've had that's a pedal drive. And I, I'm really comfortable with it and I really like it, but I wanted something that's, that's still comfortable, but also that's lighter, easier to carry. So there's a give and take. There's, you wanna have something that you're comfortable being out in, but also you don't want it so big and heavy that you can't, just stick it anywhere you want to stick it and put it like in little bitty tiny canals or up and down a, a hill like I did today. So this is the reason I have two uh, pedal drive kayaks now. Uh, the other two went to good home and now I have two that I can use for different situations. They meet different kind of purposes and I would love to have three or four or five. I would love to have, it's just like anything. I have three trucks and I'll, there's different situations for different um, vehicles. Same thing with kayaks. The more that I get into fishing, the more fishing I do, the more traveling I do, the more fishing with friends and things like that. Now I got, you know, kayaks to share and spare and take other people out on them and just enjoy. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, Chris is over here setting up some rods. If you don't know who he is, he's got his channel. He, he just caught a big old catfish the other day. We're going to do a little fishing here. It's going to be on a different video. I don't even know if I'm going to catch anything, but I might just watch him fish. So thanks for watching.